Hey, I'm Sean Smith of the Marine Industry Association of South Florida, and this is Salty Jobs. Today we're going to be visiting one of our marine industry companies, so uh, follow me. Hey everyone, I'm here at Director Shipyard. And the shipyards are really a bedrock of our industry because without the ability to lift these boats out of the water, we wouldn't be able to do a lot of the repairs underneath the water line, so a lot of our occupations wouldn't exist. So here at the shipyard, you guys can see all the different aspects of our industry. We have contractors, trade skill workers, administrative positions, naval architects. So what we're gonna do today is a haul out, which means lifting the boat out of the water onto land for cleaning, surveying, and possible repairs. So let's go get started on this boat. So I'm here today with Scott, who's a machinist at Director Shipyard. Scott, I see the lasers set up here on the deck of the boat. Can you explain to me a little bit about what we're doing with those? We're basically trying to monitor the flex of the boat. We want to achieve the same condition as sitting in the water as it's going to be on the uh, hard once we block it. You were telling me earlier you kind of an interesting story about how you game became a machinist. Right. Explain to me kind of what you did there. Senior year in high school, you know, I was uh, not really interested in moving on to college. I went to a local trade school. Pick machining, 24 years later, love every day of it. Even though this vessel is 164 feet long and weighs 490 gross tons, the travel lift the director is capable of lifting nearly twice this much. So I'm here with Manny, who is the travel lift operator at Director Shipyard. Manny, I saw you earlier with the control panel, almost looked like a video game. How'd you get into doing this? Well, I started off at a smaller marina after high school. It was more of like a summer job. I heard they were hiring here, so I came here and I started as a ground crew. Eventually, worked my way up into being an operator. Very cool. And so, when you take a boat like this out of the water, what are your responsibilities? Primarily, is safety. Make sure the, the boat crew and our crew are all on the same page communicating. Make sure everything's going smoothly. Fantastic, man. Well, hey, this is something cool that you don't usually think about when you think about a travel lift or boats and work and that kind of stuff. So thanks for your help today. No problem, thank you. So we've said before, the marine industry really embodies three facets of white collar, blue collar, and entrepreneurial positions. James, you probably see that first stand here on a daily basis, huh? We do. I mean, the shipyard is a uh, access point for any number of entrepreneurial businesses which are located very close by, many of which are within five miles of this facility. In addition to which, the heavy lift component, which is a big part of our business, lifting vessels, lifting equipment, lifting people in a safe and efficient way. Added to that are the uh, white collar positions we have here on site, which would run the gamut from project managers to naval architects and engineers. After the boat was power washed, it was ready to be surveyed and evaluated for any necessary repairs, which could take anywhere from a couple weeks to several months, depending on the extent of the work being done. Hey, thanks for being here with us today, guys. Join us next time on Salty Jobs. <laughs>